on the gram, and this is how to do a shoulder stand on a slack line for beginners. What? I know. Okay, so in a lot of workshops that I teach with the yoga slackers, shoulder stand is actually something that we'll put in the beginner workshops because even though it can be really hard and complicated for some people, it can be really, really easy for other people. So, you know, might as well try it. <laughs> So now from here, I have weight on the ground, and then I have weight on the line. 
but I actually have, I'd say it's about 70-30 to 80-20 with weight. So most of your weight should be on the line, on your shoulder and on this hand. So now from here, since my booty's back, it makes it really easy to just float my legs off. So you ideally get here. And then you point your toes. Ta-da! And then to come down, you can reverse all of that. Whoop! Whoop! So another way to do it is with a straight arm. So you bend in half. You can have your arm straight, get one foot up, and then push, or have that arm bent, and then move it. This is my preferred method, but you can play around with that. What else? What else? A lot of people like to jump. Ugh. It's not very helpful. So avoid this. A lot of people, like I showed you, are like, why isn't this working? Because you gotta get your foot close. Um, a lot of people will do this, they'll extend, and then they'll jump. <laughs> Try to avoid that too. You really, you really should do this um, pretty statically once you start getting it on, uh, by yourself by yourself. Oh my gosh. So another thing you can do is you can have someone stand behind you. They can weight the line with their thigh. So they hold the line down with their thigh and then they spot your hips. It is not their job to pick you up and put you in the post. No. Their job is to make sure that you don't fall backwards in a compromising position. So you, so they will stand here, the spotter, will stand here, wait the line. This makes it less wobbly. It makes it a lot easier to try this pose. And they'll spot the hips. And then you can help guide them by pushing them, don't push, but like guide them towards the ground with their feet going back to the ground. Or you can cartwheel out. So let me show you the cartwheel. Ta-da! Oh my gosh! Woo so you so you can carwheel. You can carwheel either way. Uh, ma -ma, ma -ma, ma -ma, ma -ma. Oh! How do you balance? How do you stay up there? So when I'm up here, I mean my balance, my weight is in this hand, in this hand, and in my shoulder. And remember, you want it as far back towards your scapula as possible. My feet, just so you know, are forward and straddled, and we're not straight, we're piked. No, yes. You'll find that if you're straight, you end up on your collarbone, and it hurts a lot, and it really sucks. So you wanna be piked, ta-da. I find having a straight arm can sometimes disperse the weight better, which is nice. Um, but for actual balancing, eventually, so like, my hips, I, my torso is tilted, you know, like, my hips are more towards that side of the line. My head is obviously on this side of the line. I'm keeping my body kind of as straight as I can, <laughs> and I'm balancing in my hips. Let's say you're here still. Crawl that hand out far. Fingertip. Tent your hand onto your fingertips. I, you know, you can do it with your legs bent, but try to avoid flailing because that's not going to make it any easier. And try to minimize your movement as much as possible. But it is really difficult at first. This took me a while. But yeah, right now I'm isolating the movement in my hips as much as possible. I'm not doing massive side bends with my body. Hello, how are you? <laughs> huh. Well, that was a lot of information and I hope it helps you. And if you have any questions, please ask me. Um, but this was how to do a shoulder stand for beginners. <laughs> so that's pretty much how
how you do a shoulder stand for beginners. I hope you liked it. I'm Liz Asaurus slash Liz Thomas. Uh, please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. I will have more YouTube tutorials coming out on how to slackline and possibly how to do other things and fun stuff. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon and donate. Or if you want to check me out on OnlyFans, you can do that too. That's cool. I'm also on Instagram. Lizasaurus across all platforms, and I hope you have a great day, and happy slacking. Okay, so there's this other thing. You like cartwheel. You like ha, cartwheel. Ta-da! Oh, I like to try to grab my foot. Yay! I also like to switch hands. Ooh. Yay. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> one day, one day I'll get the no hand in.